Good morning. I think we need to take this climate change more seriously. Uh, it is a serious thing. Now I'm joking. This is sarcasm. You know, some time ago I talked about Sweden warming up twice as fast as the rest of the world. This was reported here in Sweden and I thought it was funny. But then I saw the BBC saying that Canada is warming up twice as fast as the rest of the world. And now it's getting strange, right? So what's going on? Now somebody did a good job. This is uh, Natalia Matteo. She's got a Twitter account called Butalia and I will link to it below the video. Uh, she's been looking into this. All these places and things <laughs> that is warming up faster than the rest of the world. And I just, I'm just going to read the list of the things and countries and places that she found out so far according to scientist reports and media is warming up faster. So here we go. Canada, Ireland, Sweden, Russia, Australia, Arctic, Tibet, mountains in general, Spain, Finland, China, Norway, Singapore, Himalaya, Alaska, Korea, the American West, Gulf of Maine, England, Britain, Spain, Europe, the Mediterranean Sea, Red Sea, West Africa, South Africa, and the North Sea. So far, yeah. And it, it makes you wonder, right? Where are all those cool places? Where is the rest of the world? It sort of looks like the whole world is warming up faster than the rest of the world, sort of. See? Maybe it's the South America. South America. There's no mention of Brazil here. Maybe it's cool there, very cool, right? Or Argentina or something. See? Of course, media, they hate this. Uh, they just want to keep reporting this stuff. And I don't think they really know what they are doing. They are just told what to say and they say it. And in certain countries they don't because it's been quite cool there. So nobody will believe it. But in all these countries and places or whatever, they expect us to believe it. Well, we don't. Oh. This is why they hate uh, alternative media, of course because they can't keep lying as they used to be able to do. Uh, I have something from the former Swedish PM Fredrik Reinfeldt. He's one of the guys that I d dislike intensely. Yeah. He did more harm to this country than anyone I know, any politician that I know. Yeah. He was the guy who opened the borders to Sweden. And he told the Swedes to open their hearts. And then we saw this big flood of people coming to Sweden. And it changed Sweden. It did. Yeah. And people don't like it. No. Uh, he now, he's talking, you see. He's resigned, but people, you know, media, they still like to listen to him. He's a Bilderberger. He's a globalist. Uh, I don't like him. Anyway, this is what he says, uh, that the corona crisis can turn Swedes into nationalists. He's warning about this. Well, there's some truth to this, of course. Yeah, the corona virus will actually wake some people up in this country about borders and security and stuff. But uh, really, it's him who turned the Swedes into nationalists. It is. Yeah, because the Swedes didn't like what happened. And the Swedes will have to handle it. You know, if we want to remain this country where, you know, you could leave your car unlocked. You could trust people, you see. You shook their hands and you know that you could trust them. You see, this was the kind of culture we used to have in Sweden. 
Well, this is no more. This is no more. Not in the cities, at least. No. So, we are turning nationalist. This is true, and that this asshole is warning about it makes me sick. All right. Be good. Bye.